But we start with Scotland. Head coach Steve Clark has named his squad ahead of their Nations League double header against Croatia and Portugal. Well, let's get more. We can cross live now to Hampden Park. Speak with our reporter Gordon Duncan. And Gordon, the headline news from Clark's team announcement then was the recall of Craig Gordon. What did Clark have to say about the 41-year-old? Yeah, it's incredible and it's the age that makes it the headline, isn't it? 41 years of age, will turn 42 before this year, uh, before the year is out, incidentally, uh, just towards the end of the calendar year. And it's really been a, a career full of bouncing back from setbacks for, for Craig Gordon. We'll all remember when he went to Sunderland and had those injuries and pretty much retired from the game and bounced back. And it's just been that constant cycle of of almost proving people wrong and bouncing back. Scotland have had the Hearts goalkeeping situation in the picture because Xander Clark was Hearts number one. He was in the Scotland squad at the expense of Craig Gordon, but now Craig Gordon has got back in at club level and back in on the international front as well. So it is quite a story, and particularly if you remember before the Euros, Scotland played Finland here in a warm-up game. Craig Gordon was subbed on for his 75th cap. It was known that he wouldn't make the Euro squad. It was an emotional evening. It looked like a farewell, but Craig Gordon did take to Instagram as players do nowadays and said, you know, he would still be available if needed. And here we are back in the squad. And Steve Clark said it's just a testament to the character. He's the number one at Hearts. He's playing every week. Uh, Xander's obviously on the bench. Liam Kelly's on the bench at Rangers. R uh, Robbie McCrory's on the bench at Kilmarnock. So I need three goalkeepers. And what better than to bring, bring Craig back? Was that always the the sort of thought after that Finland game, like I say, it might have looked like a farewell, but he was always very much, you know, available for selection if needed. No, no, Craig told me that it was not a farewell and he would see me in the future. So he lived up to his promise. Testament to him then, it's been a, a career of comebacks. No, absolutely. Uh, he's, he's always shown that he's, he's up for the fight. Uh, he wants to play every week. He wants to play as many times as he can for his country. So now I look forward to seeing him again. And it's often the omissions that make the headlines as well because plenty of familiar names not making Clark's team. It's, it's fair to say the national side having a pretty tough time of it with injuries at the moment. Yeah, really tough. And some of the names, players that would be automatic picks for Steve Clark, I think if he had his way, Aaron Hickey would be his first choice right back. He's been absent for a long time. Nathan Patterson would probably be his second choice right back. He's been absent for a long time as well. There's no doubt Kieran Tierney, a mainstay of the Scotland team over recent years. He's unavailable due to injury. And that's when you add in other players as well who've played a lot of games in defence for Steve Clark. Jack Hendry, Scott McKenna, who's gone off to La Liga. And even further forward this time, arguably the main man, Scott McTominay might have something to say about that in, in recent campaigns, but John McGinn, arguably Steve Clark's main player during his time as Scotland head coach. He's missing as well this time. There has been a, an attempt to nod to the future. Tommy Conway, the Middlesbrough striker in recent squads, he misses out. It is a really, really long list for a squad that ultimately doesn't have loads of unbelievable talents to choose from at the best of times. So Steve Clark says this is a really challenging time for him. It's a testing time. Uh, it's a testing time for, for me. It's a testing time for the squad. But I've always been one that the injuries are there for everyone to see and you can talk about them all day. For me, it's better to talk about the ones who are going to play, who are going to have a chance to play, who are going to have a chance to, to maybe, for some of them, to kickstart an international career at, at this stage of their career. So let, let's focus on them and, and hopefully the injured boys will be back and available as soon as possible. And not just players, Clark is missing this international camp. One of his coaches also absent in Austin McPhee. How sorely will he be missed? Yeah, there was a time not so long ago when no one really knew about set-piece coaches or, or who they were, but Austin McPhee is a, a really high-profile one, obviously, because of his work here in the Scotland national team and with Aston Villa in the English Premier League as well. The serious side to this is it's due to family illness and Austin McPhee has decided to step away from his international commitment. So Steve Clark wished the family well, as you would expect, and hopefully that's a situation that the family can negotiate their way through uh, in the coming months. But Scotland have scored some big goals from set pieces under Austin McPhee's time here. Aston Villa have done the same as well. So it, it will be felt, and Steve Clark was asked how he intends to fill that vacancy. Here's what he had to say. First of all, it's a big blow for for us that, that Austin's stepped aside, but it's a bigger blow for Austin and his family. Obviously, they've got difficult, difficult times ahead, and we, wish, we certainly wish them well, especially his father, who's going to have a, a tough time. So hopefully that works out for them. Uh, 
But Austin was great for me. Uh, he took a lot of workload away with the, the set plays. As well as a set play coach, Austin is also a pr proficient coach. He reads the game well. We always had good conversations. And he's a Scotland fan. You know, it was great to have him. His enthusiasm in and around the camp. He, he felt every every defeat badly, badly and he, he felt every win fantastically, you know. So he, he's a big miss for us. And international breaks often bring up this discussion of player workloads. There's been plenty said on the topic in recent weeks. What did Clark have to say? Yeah, it has been a real hot topic. And I think it's even more so in big names. Rodri has been one of the, the main players asked about this recently. Of course, gone on to have his own injury concerns. I think Scotland captain at Liverpool's Andy Robertson asked about it at the weekend as well. So Steve Clark did say he didn't feel that international football was, was getting it wrong, but acknowledges that overall there is a workload on the modern player. And he thinks the main priority is just to make sure that players are listened to. Obviously, you, you, listen, you notice the amount of games that players are playing and if I looked at my own squad in the summer I would say that some of my players were probably tired in that tournament uh, so it's something that, that needs to be looked at uh, if, if you're talking about internationals in isolation I don't think we overplay internationals I think the international calendar is pretty fair uh, but I was a player myself a long time ago and I think as a player I think all you ask for in these circumstances is that, is that you're involved in the conversations and I think that's what all the lads are, are basically saying, involve us in the conversation, which is, which is a very fair comment to make. So a really interesting squad then chosen by Steve Clark. Yes, there are injuries, but the big headline, the recall for 41-year-old Craig Gordon. And three new faces as well. Liam Lindsay of Preston, Nicky Devlin of Aberdeen coming in to bolster that defence. And Andy Irving, a first call-up from him, the West Ham midfielder, who's had a really fascinating career path as well. So as always, difficult decisions to be made. Steve Clark has made them and now on to that big Nations League doubleheader, Croatia and Portugal to come.